10 sample short compositions. 10 sample short compositions. My neighbors. I have many neighbors. Some of them are Malay, some are Chinese and some are Indian. My neighbors are good. They do not quarrel with one another. Most of them are educated and rich. They do not like to talk against one another. My neighbors do not make much noise. They do not like to disturb others. They speak softly so that others may not get angry. My neighbors are also helpful to one another. If someone is ill, they call a doctor to attend to him or take him to the hospital as quickly as possible. I am very happy to live with such neighbors. The market in my town. The market in my town is not very big. It is, however, full of people most of the day. Many things can be bought at the market in my town. Fresh fish, meat, vegetables, and many other things are sold in this market at very low prices. People from distant places visit this market to buy whatever they need. The market is open till 7 o'clock in the evening. Prices of things at about that time are at their lowest. Many people wait till that hour to buy what they want. The market in my town becomes very dirty in the evening, like all markets. Yet, people still like to visit this market. My parents. My parents are not very old. My father is about 40 years old. My mother is about 2 years younger than my father. My father is a busy Ness man. He is always busy with his work. My mother is a teacher in a primary school. My parents are very kind. They love me very much. My father gives me a lot of money. Sometimes he buys many beautiful things for me. He also buys many books for me to read. My mother too gives me many things. I do not have to ask her for anything. Sometimes she takes me out to visit people and places. I am lucky to have such parents. The work of a postman. A postman works very hard. He is a friend to all. The postman brings us our letters and makes us happy. Sometimes he also brings some bad news and makes us sad. But that is not his fault. His work is only to bring us our letters. The postman has to go from house to house to deliver the letters and parcels. He is not afraid of dogs. He does his work quietly. He does not get angry with anyone. There is always a smile on his face. The work of a postman is very hard. The work of a policeman. Few people like the policeman. Yet the policeman is a real friend to good people. The work of a policeman is to catch people who break the law. He must see that no one steals other people's things or kills anyone. He must also see that no one cheats anyone or destroys other people's houses and other things. He does not catch good people. He likes good people. The work of a policeman is therefore not easy. His work is full of danger. He has to be very careful. If he is careless, he may be killed. Some thieves and robbers use guns. It is not easy to catch them. If we are good, therefore, we should not be afraid of the policeman. The game I like best. The game I like best is badminton. It is a very interesting game. Badminton is not an easy game. The badminton player must have strong hands and legs. He must also be able to run and jump a lot. Badminton is played between two parties. There may be one or two players on each side. To play the game well, the players have to move quickly. I play this game every day with my friends. Sometimes I watch other people playing the game. I am not very good at the game. Yet, I enjoy playing it. I shall play this game even after I leave school. Animals at home. The most common animals at home are the dog and the cat. The dog is a very useful animal. It looks after its master's house, day and night. If we have a dog, thieves and robbers are afraid to come near our house. A dog loves its master. If a man attacks its master, the dog bites the man to save its master. Sometimes a dog even tries to protect its master from other dangerous animals. It is such a good and helpful animal. 
The cat too is a useful animal. It kills all the mice in our house. Mice are harmful animals. They eat our food, clothes, books, and all other things. The cat frightens the mice away. Some cats are very beautiful. I like the dog and the cat very much. Why I like to read books. I read all kinds of books. I enjoy reading books. Books tell us many things about the world. They tell us about the people in other countries. They also tell us about the people who lived many years ago. Some books even tell us many things about the birds, animals, and plants. There are also books which tell interesting stories. The stories are not real, but we enjoy reading them. When we read the stories, we learn many new words. These words help us to speak and write better. I like books very much indeed. I can spend the whole day reading books. Someday, I shall have my own library. My last birthday. On my last birthday I invited all my friends. I also invited some of my relatives. There was a big gathering at my house. Those who came to the party brought many presents for me. Many of them also sang some songs. Everyone enjoyed listening to the songs. Much music was also played. Everyone was happy. There were many things to eat at the party. There were also many kinds of drinks. Everyone ate and drank as much as they could. When the party was over, everyone wished me a happy and long life and went home. I shall remember that party. A visit to a circus. Some time ago, a circus came to my town. My father took me to that circus. I had a good time there. The show was in a very big tent. Big lamps lit up the tent very brightly. The tent was crowded with people. I saw many people doing many clever tricks. Even some animals were doing some interesting tricks. The elephants were really very interesting to watch. I also liked to see the lions and the tigers. They too did a lot of tricks. My father and I returned home very late that night. I thanked my father for taking me to the circus. A house on fire. One night I heard some shouts of fire. Fire. At once I got up from my bed. Then I ran out of my house. I saw a building on fire. Many people were crying inside that building. Soon three fire engines came. The firemen began to work at once. They threw a lot of water onto the building using the hoses from the fire engines. At the same time, they helped the people inside the building to get out. At last the fire was put out. Some people were badly burnt. Luckily, no one was killed. I was very sad after that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.